I would like to welcome your excellencies for joining us today. I would like to welcome uh, the First Lady of Botswana, uh, Her Excellency Mrs. Nio Jan Masisi, and also the Ambassador of my Foundation, More Than a Mother. The First Lady of Burundi, Her Excellency Madame Angeline Adaya Shamish, Sh Shami, uh, is uh, the uh, also Ambassador of Merck, uh, More Than a Mother. Uh, the First Lady of Central African Republic, uh, Her Excellency Madame Brigitte Fadura, and also she is the Ambassador of Merck Foundation, More Than a Mother. The First Lady of DRC Congo, uh, Her Excellency Madame Denise Nyakro uh, 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 Tishi Sikidi, uh, also the ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother. Her Excellency, the First Lady of Gambia. Uh, um, Her Excellency, Mrs. Fatumata Bahbaru, and the ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother. Her Excellency, the First Lady of Liberia, uh, Madame Claire Mariwea, and also ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother. Uh, Her Excellency, the First Lady of Malawi, uh, Her Excellency uh, Mrs. Uh, Monica Shakwera, also the ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother. Uh, Her Excellency, uh, the First Lady of Niger, and uh, Her, uh, Her Excellency Madame uh, Bazoum Hadiza Mabrouk, also the ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother. And also welcome as the first time to join us. Uh, on the Merck Foundation First Ladies uh, Initiative uh, uh, as a member and also the first to join us in the uh, uh, online uh, summit or in summit in general. And uh, congratulations for joining uh, the First Lady Office. Her Excellency, uh, the First Lady of Nigeria, uh, Her Excellency Dr. Mrs. Aisha uh, Boheri, and also welcome to join us for the first time in our uh, uh, Merck Foundation First Ladies Initiative online. Uh, although we are working uh, together uh, with Merck Foundation since 2015, but it's a great honor to have uh, our two new members with us uh, today. Uh, Her Excellency, uh, the First Lady of Sierra Leone, uh, Her Excellency Mrs. Fatima Madhu Bayo, and also the ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother. Her Excellency, the First Lady of uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Her Excellency Mrs. Oxella uh, Managuagua, uh, which is also the ambassador of Merck Foundation, more than a mother. Um, I can't describe how much I'm honored and I'm happy that you are with, we are together today, uh, virtually. And we kept meeting, although the uh, the difficulty of COVID-19 pandemic and the restriction of, of travel and movement, we kept, we kept meeting frequently online. And we are going to meet face-to-face -face very soon in November this year. And it will be maybe the first time after three years, because the last time we met all together was in Ghana. Uh, into November 2019. So this meeting, which is the next one, will be November 2022, three years exact. So this will be a great excitement and we're very much looking forward to see each other face to face and to discuss and to uh, deliberate and discuss challenges and find solutions continue uh, expressing uh, uh, and uh, um, sharing the impact, the huge impact and the milestone we have done uh, uh, through our joint partnership in our programs. Your Excellency, I can't imagine uh, that we are uh, meeting today and we're celebrating a huge milestone of our success. Actually, I wrote a, a speech, but I can't read the speech because I feel overwhelmed very much that I'm meeting you and uh, I want to speak from my heart, actually. So uh, I would like to tell you that I'm very proud that we have provided 1,300 scholarships for doctors uh, and healthcare providers from 42 countries in 32 different medical specialties, which are underserved and critical, like diabetes, cardiovascular, endocrinology, respiratory care and acute care, reproductive and sexual care, fertility, embryology, oncology. And together we made history because we trained the first specialist 
in many uh, uh, countries in these specialities. So it's going to be the first, it's a history in, in the making. And we continue and we will continue because all of us realize the importance of uh, building healthcare capacity and the importance of having a well-trained and specialized uh, healthcare sector, especially during coronavirus. And of course, it's not continue even and beyond because we don't know what's happening after coronavirus. But we realize that they are the heroes and they are the one who protect us and they are the first defense line. And therefore, our strategy, which started in 2012, to focus very much on building this healthcare capacity was proven that it is the right strategy. And we've done this together and we will never be able to achieve this. Um, huge milestone without your support and without your active partnership that always uh, was guiding us and helping us, supporting us, endorsing us. Make sure that this support goes to the right channels and the right people that will be committed to help back the country and the people uh, and the nations in uh, the public uh, healthcare sector. So this is by itself is a very, very important initiative and very close to my heart. And I see huge achievement because every time we have an online summit with the scholars and the people and the healthcare providers, we train, we, sh we listen to their success stories and how they achieved them. Every one after graduation, they see more than 1,000 patients per month that these patients will never have the right or the quality of care without this training. So they actually saved a lot of lives and they touched a lot of lives. But not only this, but we also together, we had done a lot of initiatives that addressed wide range of social and health issues uh, through uh, different uh, interventions, uh, through your ambassadorship as Merck Foundation More Than a Mother, through, through, through your advocacy and your different platforms, but also through the storybooks, for example, we created together and it's, it's still in the pipeline, like for example, Rescue Jacqueline, uh, which is about girls' education. We are going to send this to you as well. Uh, a storybook called uh, Not Who You Are. It's about gender-based violence and how to stop gender-based violence between and in domestic uh, violence. And also uh, right into the future, it's also about supporting girls' education and uh, ending child marriage. And Jude Sugar Free is about raising awareness about diabetes and all this in different language, French, English and, uh, and in Portuguese. Of course, this is in addition to uh, the previous one, educating Linda and David's story and make the right choice and David's story, which also about breaking the stigma of the So this is about storybooks. I also made a lot together like the awards and the, the uh, media training, which we provided to more than 200, 2000 uh, media representative across 20 countries to educate them how to sensitize the communities and then can apply for the media recognition awards. And yet we have a lot of winners from your countries that they became the champions uh, in their uh, work, in their communities and their setup to raise awareness about these uh, topics, girls' education, breaking stigma on fertility and ending child marriage, stopping gender-based violence and so on. So uh, this is very, very important and we are going to do more and we are going to discuss more. It's on also that I know that all of most of you and all of you interested very much in educating Linda program, like you are interested in more than a mother uh, campaign. And uh, together in all countries, we are going to send grants, uh, scholarships for uh, girls who are under, uh, underprivileged but very highly performed continue their education and also school items to distribute on girls in, 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 uh, in school and girls and boys in school. So all this is, of course, you know about it because we are working together with your office and your foundation to achieve it and to make sure that it is in the uh, uh, right place. Of course, there is a specific uh, initiatives for each country that we are going to hear about it uh, now from all of you, but I'd like very much to thank you all for this valuable uh, time. It's very, very important for us, me and Professor Frank, which I, uh, he is listening to us now, and he will have his uh, um, uh, intervention after you speak so he can, uh, 
welcome you and also uh, comment on your um, in, on your achievement. Uh, your Excellencies, I'm looking forward to meet you uh, uh, at our Merck Foundation Africa Luminary in November uh, in Dubai uh, this year, so we can see each other face to face and discuss more.